Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Rush Fishing 4, where we're back on very familiar Mosquito Lake. Because we're trying to work up to level 12 to get new areas opened up that we can go to, I figured we'd leave the Winding Rivulet and come back to uh, Mosquito Lake, just so that way it's a lot easier to use the bottom fishing and the float fishing to hopefully speed our experience gain up quite a bit. So I'm just going to stop by the sh uh, yeah, stop by there, have that. Actually, let me do a quick check, make sure the rods are all prepared and everything. Like, float rod, there's nothing to really do for that one, so that's fine. And our bottom fishing rod looks like it has plenty for it as well. So I think what we'll do... Uh, I'm not going to take a look at any of the, uh... The cafe orders. Whatever happens will happen. But what we'll do is we'll get down by the water here and try working to the south. Because I think for a lot... Quite a few of it, I was working more up along this area here. So let's try this southern side and see if we can find anything more interesting to it. I think we'll even just, like, start, say, right over here. And just toss that out. Set that down. Get you out. Toss you out, say, to there. Set you down. There we go. Line's tight. Those are in. If I really wanted to, I guess I could try doing some spin fishing too. Once it loads. There we go. Although, truth be told, I don't know if I'd really actually get anything for doing it on Mosquito Lake. But I guess it doesn't hurt to even just, like, cast it out and then if something's going on with a rod, just set this one down. So yeah, our big objective is just going to be working at trying to get the experience needed to go up to level 12, and then we get some new areas to try playing around in. I don't know if... Oh, you know what? Looking at it, I think it's going to take a couple of weekends, perhaps. Oh. Well, there's a little perch already. Kind of surprised it actually struck on a spinning rod. Yeah, we'll keep you. Toss this back out. Ooh, you know what? Ah, uh, do do yeah, set that there for now, because the float rod is going off a little bit. But looking that we still need, like, 11,000 experience... It's probably going to be a while before we're going to be getting to level 12. Okay, Crucian Carp. Let's just toss that back out. Set you down. And then bring this in. Yeah, we're just going for anything and everything we can get. I'm not going to focus too hard on any of the cafe orders, because we do have still a fair amount of silver saved up. Oh, nice, got another one. It's all just going to be about trying to get the ex experience. I could try releasing the fish to get a little bit more of a, bo a boost for it, but I feel like I'd prefer to save up the silver, because eventually that's going to get put to use. When? Not 100% sure, but... Oh, actually, I don't even see, like, a little boost for the experience, so it might just be better to hold... Hold on to it. Whee! Is that a good fling? Uh, you were chiming, but I don't see anything more happening to it to make me... Uh, I think we need that. Okay, I swear something looks a little different for the graphics. I wonder if it's because I changed the field of view. Maybe I'll bring it down to, like, say, 65, and just see what that does. Ah, uh, nothing really, and it looks like this is good to bring in. Yeah, as for the next purchase, I really don't know what we'll go for or try picking up. Like, I remember one of the suggestions early on was getting more of these bottom fishing rods. Although, truth be told, I still kind of do think maybe it wouldn't be bad to get... Oh, a tench. Actually, kind of surprised at that. It might not be a bad idea to try getting a better float fishing rod. Just because the telestick is like one of the more basic rods, I think. You know what? Let me pick you up because you have been showing some. Yeah, you're showing activity. What do we got here? Another carp? Oh, gibble this time. Yeah, we'll cast that back out. Set that down, and then go back to this line and bring her in. And again, it's just going to be bouncing back and forth between all three of these as we slowly work up our experience if we can. Uh, 
We just have to see what we bring in or get. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got anything on this cast with the spinning rod. Truth be told, I'm not expecting us to have any, like, uh, steady pattern happening when it comes to the spinning rod. Ooh. Uh, you got a few chimes, but I don't see the rod tip bending forward. So maybe not quite yet. But we'll keep our ears open in case. Ooh, actually, you know what? I just realized the float is completely down. Oh, actually, that's actually... I know I said actually twice, but that's something I should try to realize, is that if the float goes down all the way, I can just leave it there to get later. I don't have to be super quick on acting at it. So yeah, this is just how it's going to go. Slow, steady, but we'll hopefully just keep bringing fish in one after another. I'm actually talking about the float one. Oh. Okay, well, something seemed like it was on there good, but then all of a sudden, not at all. Okay, set that one up again. Take the spinning rod. And just reel in the rest of the way. I might actually try switching the lure we've got on our spinning rod. And you know what? Maybe I'll just let the float rod... I see it's already acting up again. I'll just leave it going for a while until it seems like it's stayed down steadily. Let me try this one, the spin shot. This one was getting us perch pretty reliably. Oh, you know what? Okay, that looks like that has to be the, sp the float rod with something... Again, I swear, it looks like there should be something stuck on there. Uh, you're jingling, but the tip's not really bent forward that much. I'll give it a try and see. Oh, there we go. Actually, what's interesting is I need to increase the friction break. No. Oh, no, I don't... I think I was just it, dragging along the ground there now that it's coming in. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, I acted a bit too early on that. We'll toss it back out. Let it do its thing, and then keep working at the spinning rod. There we go. Get that good. Oh, let me just see about bringing this in. There we go. Another perch. Yeah, just another perch. Seems like this spin shot that we unlock for one of the rewards with spin fishing really reliably gets you perch. They're not very big, but at least it's fish coming in. I do see the float rod going off. You know what, because I've been leaving it for so long, and nothing's been on it when it looks like it has... <sighs> Again, I still cannot seem to read this one properly. Okay, well, set that back out. Back to this one. And we'll try for another minute or two still. Okay, cast it back out. And bring it in. Now just go... No activity on the other two, so you know what, maybe on this bring in, we'll pack up and just work around to the other side towards where the campsite is. Is that... yeah, that is another perch on, I think. Oh, 
Yeah, there you are. Okay, we'll keep you. Oh, okay, just seeing some activity here now. There we go. Finally got something on that. Oh, another little tiny perch. Okay, we'll bring you in. And okay, nothing's been acting on this, so let's just bring it in. Bring it all the way in. And then we'll... Ooh. Then we'll go around towards the other spot there, and try the lines there for the rest of the episode, perhaps. And we're not doing too bad. We've gotten nine fish so far, so it's about one fish per minute. So yeah, let's just do a run around to the other side quickly. Now we can get all the lines in the water. And you know what, actually... I just want to see if I could just, like, rearrange these. Yeah, so let's do... I think that's our bottom fishing one. And that's our... Sp yeah, okay, so that way, float, bottom, and then spinning. So they're all set up in that order. Yeah, we'll try right out from here and see what happens. There's one. There's two. And here's three. Actually, let me be... Yeah, I want to be a bit close to those two, just so that way if anything goes on with them. Well, speaking of going on with them... That's the float one already sh showing signs of life. My bad. Got a little too eager on it. Okay, cast you back out, set you down. I guess with all the weekends of uh, focusing on the spin fishing, I've kind of forgotten the visual cues to watch for the float one. Uh, just slowly let this go about and see what we bring in. Yeah, there's a float one at work again. Maybe we'll try casting this one more out into the open water. See if there's anything way out there. Nope. Oh. Okay, you're chiming, but again, I don't see the steady tension to the tip. Well, there's finally another one. And that is a common roach. Okay. And then we'll go back on this one. And just keep working along and see whatever happens. Yeah, I don't think it's going... It's probably going to be a couple of weekends or maybe even more to get us to level 12. Because that is a lot of experience to go through. Oh, there we go. That we can act on. I don't need the friction break that high. Let's keep it down to like 22. Um, kind of hard to tell what it is from here. Maybe, uh, looks like maybe a roach? Or a carp. Common roach. Set that down. There we go. That's tightened up. And back to this one. And yeah, just slowly going along. Keep seeing what we can do. Yeah, nothing hit on the spinning rod here. Maybe I tried it one way. Maybe we'll try it the opposite direction next. But I do see our float is having a little bit of interest. Kind 
Come on, give it a good tug. I'll just keep trying to pull it, not just a tug. So I want something a little more definitive to act on. Like that. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, that's actually a bit of a chunky one. 521 gram crucian carp. Not bad. Back out you go. Set you down. And let's try over this way. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll actually get anything for, like, any of the orders. There might be, like, a super little cheap one, like, get three of a certain kind or that. I doubt we're going to really go for trying to make big profits here. The big thing is, again, just taking our time and trying to build up the experience. I do miss the happy hour bonus that we were getting for that one weekend, because it did make it a lot easier when it came to trying for that. Oh, actually, hang on. Okay, let me pull this right in, because, yeah, it looks like our float's completely taken. No, oh, it was. Come on. Stop playing with it and either go for it or leave it. It's just that slow wait before they finally go for it proper. Ah, oh, again, it... I swear, it looks like it should, but it just never seems to. Oh, nope. Uh, that one I want to keep down. That's right, our spinning rod is number three. And see if going straight down the middle gets us anything. And just take our time and let it all play out. Again, I think I'll probably keep the episodes towards the 20-ish minute mark. Just because, again, it's this is the part of the game where I knew eventually we'd most likely hit. And there's not really anything I can do to make it more exciting. If there's anything to talk about, I wish I knew. But there hasn't been too much coming in in the way of, like, comments or anything like that. So, again, it makes it a little difficult at times. When we get into, like, the grind spots for these free-to-play games at times. But, we at least got through quite a bit of today's episode. And then, yeah, we'll stay here basically for another minute or two, see what we can get, and then keep working along the south shore a little bit. Hopefully find something else. And then, end of the day, we can bring everything we've got to uh, the cafe and the fish market and see what's there. Ah, yeah, you know what? Let me bring this right in. Our float rod is showing some signs of life. Another chunky looking carp. 447. Not a lot. See, I could release it for that little bo bonus, but I'd prefer to get the silver building up. And oddly enough, nothing on the bottom rod for quite a while. I don't know if there's actually something on it, and it's just, like, so light that it's not registering anything, or... No, nothing. I didn't think there would be. Okay. Nope, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Let me take that. Take that. And do do Let's see. Yeah, I'll get us into... Oh, let me get around there. Actually, let me see. It goes a two and a half over here. So you know what? Let me get to that point between, like, the two deep spots. 
One thing I haven't actually done is rented a boat and gone actually, like, onto the middle of the water for Mosquito Lake, so I could look at doing that, too. Looks like it's up at this little point here we'll try from. Yeah, next episode we'll try fishing from here, see if we can get anything in the deeper spots. But, for now, we'll end this episode of Russian Fishing 4 right here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, tricks, or any topics I should talk about as we, again, go through the slow XP farm, be sure to let me know in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.